Have you ever been wrong before where you see someone on television and you go, I think that guy's guilty and they're innocent or vice versa? Oh, sure. Because if if you really want to know for sure if somebody is guilty or innocent, you need to invest a lot of time. You need to get a baseline on what they normally look like, th- talk like, feel like. Mm-hmm. Um, and, then ba- and then knowing that baseline, you then need to compare how they're behaving on TV. So just walking by the screen and seeing it, um, you might see things that would ordinarily be lie behaviors that could just be part of their personality. So if you're going to really make a judgment, uh, you, you got to put a lot of time in and figure it out. And what you should do before you decide you're going to be a human lie detector is do your homework and you ought to try to figure it out objectively before you figure it out behaviorally. I mean, you ought to do your investigation, find out if somebody took the money, and you know, find out where they were, and you know, look for fingerprints, and do this and do that. I mean, you ought to really objectively figure it out before you rely on these things. And so, unless you get a baseline and get one-on-one with them and spend a lot of time, then you can't be you you can't be really certain that you know whether they're telling the truth or whether they're not. It's, it, it would be fun if it was that easy. And now, some people are pretty obvious. Yeah, I heard a cop once say that when people are guilty, they tend to plead and cry, and then when they're not guilty, they tend to get angry when they're accused. People that are wrongly accused are generally irate from the beginning till the end. I mean, the, the, every case is different. But if you're wrongly accused, that person is going to be pissed off from the minute you accuse them till the end, because it's like uh, I'm they're self righteous. Like I I didn't do this, and you're saying I did, and screw you. Yeah. Uh, and they don't take a step back. And when you you see people, they they do these convincing statements, and they're pleading for you to believe them, and then and and, and anytime somebody says. Now, in all honesty, usually the next thing out of their mouth is a lie. <laughs> like they say to you, now, now, Joe, honestly, as opposed to everything else you've been telling me, right. I mean, why are we we're bracketing this one out as honest? Right. Or if they invoke the deity, oh, I as swear God my to witness. God, yeah, God as my witness. Mm. And, you know, I, I don't know whether – I have not done what I said you need to do with Jesse Smollett, but I do know when he went to the set at Fox, uh, he said, you all know me. I swear to God I didn't do this. Mm. And, I mean, there were like three or four of those kind of statements in like two or three sentences there. Well, my and, favorite one was he's on stage. He called himself the gay Tupac. That's enough for me. <laughs> That's a little narcissistic. 